family Iridium. Hope you're doing all right. I was just about to call it a day. I was just about to call it a day on the videos and notification came up, new Night Ranger song, Premiere. So I reacted to a song of theirs a little while ago, a couple of weeks ago, off the forthcoming album. Loved it. Um, and then never, never was into Night Ranger. I mean, I'll never give them a chance, I suppose, all them years ago. But um, I love that song. Coming out um, August the 6th is the album on Frontiers, and it's called ATBPO, and that stands for And The Band Played On. So apparently it's an ode to making music during the COVID era, which they obviously did, and now they've got this album coming out. Um, like I said, I've never, I know they was a big thing, especially in America, I believe, done a lot of soundtrack stuff, um, but I never got into them. So you got Night Ranger is Jack Blades on bass and vocals, Kelly Keegy on drums and vocals, Brad Gillis, great guitar player, lead and rhythm guitars, Eric Levy on the keys, Kerry Kelly on lead and rhythm guitars. Should we just get on with this then? Because I'm excited because I love the first song. This is called Bring It All Home To Me. So yeah, really like the first song. I'm excited about this one. Let's just get on with it. This is the last video of today. <laughs> Here we go. She makes her own life lonely. She doesn't know what to do. She's gonna drive herself crazy. Better me than you. She likes to get up when the sun fades. Doesn't have to explain. She's like a twisted tornado inside a hurricane. She likes it warm in the summertime. You know she likes it when the moon shines. She takes a cue. Give it a quick stop there. So it's fun, isn't it? This is a fucking fun song. It puts a smile on your face for sure. So, I mean, it's a real, it sounds like a cool, sounds like a car song, a driving song to me. Really fun to listen to, very summery sort of song. Great, I, I like, it's a really simple chorus, but I like it. I like the simple chorus. I mean, lyrically, not sure on the chorus, but I mean, Apart from that, it's not meant to, I don't think it's meant to, you know, like blow your mind with deep lyrics. It's a fun song. It, it, the lyrics match the song, if you know what I mean. Done a bit of a two for one on the video, I think. Cheated a bit there, guys. I think you're in the same place as you did on the first video. I might be mistaken, but I think you just filmed two videos in one day. That's not cool. <laughs> and it's in the desert. You're sort of in a, a scrapyard in the desert though. At least it's not just the desert. Well, I'm sure you was in a scrapyard in the desert, the last one. I'm gonna to have to look back now. But there you go, two for one. You can't help it, you got all the guys out for the day. Make the most out of the money. 
just say, look, look guys, the film crew, we're just gonna shoot another one, quick one, you know, just keep the cameras rolling. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling on as usual. I love the song, I think it's really fun. It's really strange with Night Ranger. They do things you don't expect. So like, they do little bits of keyboards and stuff that will come in and you'd think, it usually wouldn't fit, but it's, it's strange, but somehow it does fit. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? They're different. They sound different. I don't know what it is. They, it's like they've, they've got a sound all of their own, which is really good, obviously, because I go on about there's a lot of bands now, like the late 80s, that started to sound very similar. And now you're getting that a little bit with melodic hard rock, I'm afraid. A little bit formulaic. I'm afraid. So, I mean, you know, there are some brilliant bands, by the way. You know, they don't all sound the same. But um, these have got something different. I can't put my finger on it, but they are definitely different. Let's listen to the rest of this. Brad Gillis, hopefully, he's going to blow my fucking mind like he did last time with a guitar solo. Here we go. Before I get onto the guitaring, I want to talk about that bit in the video that made me crack up. I don't know why it made me laugh so much, but when they had, all their heads were in that doorway singing baby, 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 <laughs> and they were all in that fucking doorway, it reminded me of a, that Bee Gees, um, there's a Bee Gees video where they're all just looking in the doorways and looking around the corners, man. That's fucking brilliant. Anyway, that guitar solo, all three guitar solos were fucking absolutely amazing. So um, they've got a certain, both of the guitar um, guitarists, and by the way, I didn't mention the other guitarist, which is feel bad about. So you've got Brad Gillis, obviously, and um, Kerry Kelly. No one I find it hard to say it. They've got a certain guitar sound as well, where it is a real rawness, and you can hear every note, and it's like, I don't know, it's like there's no effect going through it and they're just fucking jamming them notes out. I could hear every, every note was fucking perfect. Remind me a little bit of, um, on the Vinnie Vincent album, the first album, Vinnie Vincent's Invasion, where you could basically hear every note. He was like, he was fucking forcing it out of that guitar. It's what these guys seem like they're doing. 
brilliant guitar solos throughout, both of them, and then the one at the end as well from Brad Gillis again, was fucking amazing. In fact, my favourite part of this song, even though the song was good, was the guitar, the guitaring was absolutely spot on. Fucking amazing. Brad Gillis is one special guitarist and Kerry Kelly. No wonder they got him in the band as well because he just he just knocks it out of the park. Um, but a brilliant song all round. Really made me smile. So Jack Blade's done an excellent job on the vocals and the bass. Ke Kelly Keegy on the drums and vocals. Brilliant job. Nice and fucking steady with Jack Blade's on the, on the bass. The guitarists were fucking amazing and Eric Levy on the keys and doing some really strange things on the keys which sort of fitted it but shouldn't have fitted it but they did. But disappointed in the two for one video though guys. <laughs> anyway, hopefully that's all the videos that are going to come out today and I'll see you next time.